Okay. Hi everybody. Sorry I've been such a loser slacker for the past like probably month and a half of video making. Uh, <laughs> life happens and Friday nights happen and videos don't really happen on Friday nights as it turns out. So, you know, life and stuff. Basically run through of my last two months of living. Um, I had my May classes, finished my May classes, got A's in both my May classes. So that's a good time. Um, oh, and Ashley's going to help me do this video. <laughs> oh, quick disclaimer. We went camping. We were camping last night, which I'm telling you about later, but both of us Ratchet. don't actually look like this. <laughs> Ratchet. So no judgments necessary. Anyway, so May classes did well. June classes kind of doing well. I had my first exam in three of my three June classes on Wednesday the 12th. And that was kind of the day from hell as far as exams go. It was like finals, except I still had class the next day. So that kind of sucked. But I got A's in two of them, and I'm pretty sure I got an A on the third too because it's trig, and let's be honest, I took that in like junior high. So <laughs> that's a story in and of itself. You'll probably... Uh, you probably already heard it. Anyway, moving on. Um, oh, like a month ago, probably. I don't know. It was quite some time ago. Ashley and I went over to our friend Jessica, who's not actually our friend, our acquaintance Jessica's place to go hang out with, like, a guy that she was bringing over, and he was bringing a couple of his friends, so he's like, she's like, oh, it'll be awkward, so Ashley and Aaron, you should come, and we were both like, Right. <laughs> and she was like, there are RMs. They need to be broken into the real world. Real world. So we're going to like cuss and stuff and break them in. And you're like, okay. <laughs> Whatever. And so we went and we were like hanging out with them. And then Jessica ditched to go to a different party. And so then we were just like hanging out with Kenny and Cole and Preston until what was it? One o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Yeah. Until one yeah. o'clock in the morning. Jessica left at like 10, 930 or 10 or something. I don't know, we were hanging out with them for quite some time. And then we, like, exchanged numbers and stuff and became Facebook buds, and now we are, like, we're tight. We're tight. Kenny's into me, so that's the one that I text, and Cole is super into Ashley, but she refuses to accept it. He's bald. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he doesn't have a chance. <laughs> but he's yeah. really super nice. He's really super nice. But he's not a tool and he's not, he doesn't have hair, so no way, no chance in the world, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, we hung out with them and we've been, oh, and then they invited us to go on a date. We didn't know it was a date until we showed up and there were pairs, because we didn't know that there were going to be pairs. But they paired off everybody and, you know, four-wheeling, and that was actually a lot of fun. I had a grand old time. And then me and Ashley went to the sand dunes with my family after that, because, you know, four-wheeling and stuff. She has some pretty epic battle scars from it. Um, oh, 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 I have, okay, guys, I kept a list of everything that I needed to tell you about because I haven't updated you in a month, so who knows what I'm going to forget. The next thing on the list is Alex Berriman. Alex Berriman. The one and only. <laughs> the talented. No. <laughs> no. He, no doesn't, other... he doesn't deserve any positive adjectives. Okay. 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 Anyway, I'm sure y'all saw my Ray Tycoos on Wednesday. So this is a story. Ashley wasn't here, and Ashley's the one who always convinces me to be mean to him and be like, no, you can't come over. You can never come over. Except I never <laughs> am as mean as she tells me to be. I just, like, make up a lie and tell him to not, that I'm busy and that I can't hang out with him or something. Whatever. But she wasn't home. And he was like, oh, can I just stop by and say hi for a few minutes and then you can get back to studying or whatever because I told him that I was busy with studying and homework and stuff. Because I actually was. Anyway. And so I was like, I can't make an excuse to not hang out with him for five minutes at my place where I will be. Fine. You can come over and talk to me for five minutes. And... Uh, where do I even begin? <laughs> Okay, so he comes over, and he, like, knocks on the door, and I go downstairs, and I open the door. And my plan, Ashley's plan, Ashley's plan that I was going with was to open the door and then stand in the doorway so that he could never come in, and that way he wouldn't be there for very long, and it wouldn't get awkward or something. Or it would be awkward enough that he would leave. I don't know what the original plan was. Whatever. It was gonna work. 
It was brilliant. It was going to work. <laughs> and so I was just going to open the door and stand in the doorway until he left, basically. Like, make awkward small talk, because I haven't seen him in weeks. So... I open the door and I stand in the doorway and he just comes at me with this hug and I was like oh no <laughs> oh no and so he like hugs me and then he won't let go and then he won't let go and then he won't let go his and love he, language is you know physical touch Continue. and so he hugs me until the day he dies and then <laughs> lets himself into our apartment takes off his shoes gets real comf get, for five minutes, mind you. Because he's just going to come over for five, five minutes so that I can keep studying and doing my homework. I, it gets better. <laughs> he takes off his shoes, lets himself get real comfortable. I don't sit down. This whole time, I'm standing, and I'm, like, backing away from him. And I'm like, yeah, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh, and you guys <laughs> haven't seen it yet, but I got a cute pair of new shorts. And they come to, like, can you see my whole leg? Okay, this is the top of my leg. This is my knee. They come to, like here so pretty scandalous on Aaron's terms <laughs> and I was wearing those that day and he was stalking me and told me that he had already seen me that day so I was like no I'm not gonna change whatever and so I was wearing those shorts and he was like oh those shorts look really good on you like they make your butt look good and I, stop stop and then no <sighs> The whole time he was home, over at my place, he, like, hugged me, wouldn't stop, took his shoes off so there was no physical contact for, like, 15 seconds, maybe 20, if we're lucky. And then for the rest of the time, I kid you not, there was no break in physical contact. He would not stop touching me. He would not. Like, the whole time he was, like, hugging me or, like, touching my back or, like... I don't know, touching my face and playing with my hair and like trying to lift up my chin to like kiss him and I was like stop. I was so mad because obviously he still doesn't get it that we're broken up. And I don't know what the heck it's gonna take. I- oh! Oh! Yeah, this is why she's around. And then, and then, like 20, 25 minutes into our nice little conversation about him being off of drugs and like having a job and not having anything to do except school and work and not doing drugs or getting drunk or so, whatever, stop talking and stop touching me. I was, I stopped <laughs> listening. I don't have any idea what he was talking about. Anyway, I, in the middle of his little rant, I feel my, okay, I was wearing like a looser shirt one of my looser ones, not this one, because this one's still pretty tight, but anyway, one of my looser ones that's not very stretchy, and I feel, like, the bottom seam up against my rib up here, and I, what? He, I had my undershirt tucked in, but my overshirt was not tucked in, and he had worked his way up my shirt. Excuse you? I... And then he tries to kiss you. Several times. Several, Several times, times he tried to kiss me. And he tried to get me to kiss him because, I don't know, like what? Apparently we're still dating or something in Alex land. We're not. We're not. We're not still dating. We're never going to be dating again and stop coming over. So then I got real heated, real heated, real heated. And then we decided to go to Starbucks or whatever, and I told Malia the whole story over the phone, and she was like, you just need to be blunt with him, like, you need to be mean and tell him that it's over and that it's never gonna happen again. Yeah, Ashley said the same thing. And I'm like, yeah, like, I'm gonna be mean to him, and I'm gonna tell him off, and I'm gonna, ah, ah. <laughs> I was raging, and it tweets out the wazoo this whole time, just FYI. And so, oh, and he, he was there, total, 45 minutes, touching me nonstop in very inappropriate manners and trying to kiss me and playing with my face and my hair and stop touching me stop touching me so anyway that happened and I like get all set and gung-ho about being mean to him and I'm on the phone with Malia telling him telling Malia how mean I am gonna be to him and he is on the other line so ignored that call ignored it and then he, he had, okay, wait, he texted me twice and I didn't see those. And then when I got his call, I like looked at my phone and I saw the two text messages. And then there was another one that said, hey, I have really big news. Like, I just need to talk to you for a second. And so like 20 minutes later, I called him back. I was like, hey, what is your news? And he was like, 
oh, well, there's this climbing thing. I don't even know what it is. It's like climbing with water or something in Provo or, no, not Provo. Where is it? Park City. Very different places. In very like August, places. right? Yeah, in August. And he was like, so if you're not like, doing anything, you should. You should Two definitely away. you should definitely plan on coming because that's gonna be so freaking fun and I'll pay for your ticket and everything and we can go together and I was like I'll have to think about it my family will probably be on vacation okay bye like problem child and mind you while he was here he invited me to the X ninety six concert in August he doesn't get it he doesn't think we're over he doesn't so. I never actually ended up texting him and being mean to him because, I mean, look at my face. Does it look like I'm mean? No. So that happened, and that's why I was raging. So if any of you want to send him hate mail, be my friend. Be my guest is what I meant to say. Anyway, this video is already over 10 minutes, but that's okay because it makes up for all my other missed videos. You can watch it in chunks if you want. So chunk three starting now, I guess. <laughs> um... So after that, I was all rage and whatever, and then this weekend that we just barely got back from was a freaking party. We were going to go to that Sand Hall of Mayhem. I don't know if you guys saw that all over Facebook or whatever, but me and Carly and Ashley <clears throat> and Tyler Lambert, who I've told you guys about before, I think. He is my friend. He lives in St. George. Derek, who we met in St. George when we were at the Macklemore concert, and then Kenny and Cole were supposed to come, but Cole... Couldn't Bail. come because of work. So Kenny brought his other friend, Clinton, who he called Gilligan the whole time. That's a different story. It was funny. He's funny. It was a freaking blast. And we were like And partying. it was my birthday. Yeah, it was her birthday. So it was her birthday celebration in St. George. So you're welcome. Um, a ton of hot tools everywhere and on the beach. Ashley's type. Think of the biggest tool you can think of in your entire life. You can give him a nice head of hair. Faux hawk, preferably. Whatever. 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 So we she was having a jumping. Heyday. Yeah, we did. We went cliff jumping. And I almost died twice. Cliff jumping. Because I jumped twice. So that was almost deadly twice. Basically. No, I wasn't actually anywhere near death. It's fine. Um, anyway, yeah. So that was a ton of fun. And then we were, we camped overnight last night. And so that's why we look like this. Basically. And then we drove back to Salt Lake this morning, said hi to our dads, and now we're here, and it's like late, I guess, I don't know what time it is, I have class in the morning, it's whatever, um, and that has pretty much been my past month, so, yeah, sorry that this video is so, oh, oh, and, in other news, this is a really random side note, and it's not really applicable to any of the stories I just told you, but I've been looking for a job since friggin' before spring semester ended, which was in May, in May and I cannot find a job for the life of me so that's getting really frustrating and I'm getting really dirt poor and I don't want to be dirt poor so I'm gonna try still and find a job still because it still has to happen still and it's still not happening still so still yeah anyway this is almost 14 minutes long so now we're gonna peace out cuz breaking the rules all day every day it's whatever it's whatever anyway Everybody say happy birthday to Ashley yesterday. Yay. Okay, bye. I'll see you soon for Bear Lake.